Tara here at Oh What The Gut, where we discuss everything to do with gut health. It's Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Today I'm going to talk about the harmful effects alcohol and smoking can have on gut health. Both smoking and alcohol have been associated with an increased risk of developing or exacerbating IBD in some individuals. Watch until the end to learn a positive benefit of consuming alcohol and smoking. I know it sounds crazy. Also at the end, I will explain which is worse if the idea of quitting both at the same time is too overwhelming. Let's start with alcohol. Drinking alcohol can have both short-term and long-term effects on gut health. The gut is a complex system of organs including the stomach and intestines responsible for digestion and absorption of nutrients. Here's how alcohol consumption can impact your gut health. Irritation of the gastrointestinal tract. Acute alcohol consumption can irritate the lining of the stomach and intestines. This irritation can lead to symptoms like stomach pain, nausea, and vomiting. In some cases, it can result in gastritis, which is inflammation of the stomach lining. Disruption of the gut microbiota. Alcohol can alter the composition of the gut microbiota, the community of bacteria and other microorganisms living in the digestive tract. Excessive alcohol consumption can decrease the diversity of gut bacteria and lead to an overgrowth of harmful bacteria while reducing the beneficial bacteria. This imbalance can contribute to various gut-related issues. Increased gut permeability. Chronic alcohol consumption can increase gut permeability, often referred to as leaky gut. This means that the intestinal barrier becomes less effective at keeping harmful substances out of the bloodstream As a result, toxins, bacteria, and other substances can leak into the bloodstream, potentially triggering an inflammatory response. Inflammation. Alcohol can promote inflammation in the gut. This chronic low-level inflammation can damage the gut lining and lead to conditions like alcoholic hepatitis and alcoholic gastritis. It can also contribute to systemic inflammation, which has been linked to various health problems throughout the body. Impaired nutrient absorption. Alcohol can interfere with the absorption of essential nutrients in the small intestine, including vitamins and minerals like vitamin D, vitamin B, and calcium. This can lead to nutrient deficiencies over time impacting overall health. Increased risk of gut disorders. Chronic alcohol consumption is associated with an increased risk of gastrointestinal disorders, such as peptic ulcers, esophageal reflux or heartburn, and even an elevated risk of certain types of cancer in the digestive tract. Impact on digestive function. Alcohol can slow down the movement of food through the digestive tract, potentially leading to digestive discomfort constipation, or diarrhea. Weight gain. Alcohol is calorie dense and can contribute to weight gain when consumed in excess. Weight gain, especially abdominal obesity, is associated with an increased risk of various gut-related issues, including metabolic syndrome and fatty liver disease. It's important to note that the impact of alcohol on gut health can vary depending on factors such as the amount and frequency of alcohol consumption, genetics, and individual tolerance. Moderation is key when it comes to alcohol consumption, and excess or chronic alcohol use can significantly increase the risk of gut-related problems and other health issues. If you have concerns about how alcohol may be affecting your gut health, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional. Now, let's talk about tobacco use. Smoking can have several negative effects on gut health. While most people associate smoking with 
be harmful effects on the lungs and cardiovascular system. It also impacts the gastrointestinal tract and can lead to very di various digestive issues. Here's how smoking affects gut health. Increased risk of digestive disorders. Smoking is a known risk factor for several gastrointestinal disorders, including peptic ulcers, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, and Crohn's disease. It can worsen the symptoms and complications of these conditions. Weakening of the lower esophageal sphincter, the LES. Smoking can weaken the lower esophageal sphincter. This is the muscle that separates the esophagus from the stomach. When the LES is weakened, stomach acid can flow back into the esophagus, causing heartburn and GERD. Chronic GERD can lead to esophagitis and Barrett's esophagus, which is an increase of esophageal cancer. Delayed healing of peptic ulcers. Smoker, smoking interferes with the healing process of peptic ulcers in the stomach or diodendrum. It can worsen ulcer symptoms and increase the likelihood of complications such as bleeding or perforation. Increased risk of inflammatory bowel disease or IBD. Smoking has different effects on Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, the two main types of IBD. While smoking is a risk factor for Crohn's disease and can exacerbate its symptoms, it seems to have a protective effect against ulcerative colitis. However, this protection comes at the cost of other health risks associated with smoking. Never have I ever heard a protective benefit from smoking. Impaired immune function. Smoking weakens the immune system, making the body less capable of defending against infections. In the gut, this can increase susceptibility to infections and impair the body's ability to control inflammation. Altered gut microbiota. Similar to alcohol, smoking can alter the composition of the gut microbiota, which can have long-term effects on gut health. Changes in the gut microbiota can contribute to inflammation and influence the development of various gastrointestinal disorders. Increased risk of colorectal cancer. Smoking is a known risk factor for colorectal cancer. The carcinogenic compounds in tobacco smoke can damage the cell lining of the colon and rectum, increasing the risk of cancer development. Slower bowel transit. Smoking has been associated with slower bowel transit times, which can lead to constipation. Chronic cons constipation can contribute to other gastrointestinal issues and discomfort. Nutrient absorption. Smoking can affect the absorption of essential nutrients in the small intestine, potentially leading to nutrient deficiencies over time. Quitting smoking is one of the most important steps individuals can take to improve their overall health, including their gut health. After quitting, some gastrointestinal symptoms and risks may improve over time. Although the extent of recovery can vary from person to person, it's essential to seek medical advice and support when quitting smoking to manage any withdrawal symptoms and address any existing gastrointestinal issues. When a person who chronically smokes and abuses alcohol decides to quit both smoking and drinking, their gut health can start to improve over time. However, the extent and speed of recovery can vary depending on several factors, including the duration and intensity of smoking and alcohol abuse, overall health, and individual differences. Here are some general changes and improvements that can occur in the gut after quitting smoking and drinking alcohol. Reduced inflammation. Both smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can contribute to inflammation in the gut. When a person quits smoking and drinking, the reduction in exposure to these harmful substances can help decrease gut inflammation. This can lead to a reduction in symptoms like abdominal pain 
and discomfort. Improved gut microbiota. Quitting smoking and alcohol can positively impact the composition and diversity of gut microbiota. Over time, the balance of beneficial and harmful gut bacteria may improve, which can have a positive effect on overall gut health and digestion. Enhanced nutri nutrient absorption. Alcohol abuse can interfere with the absorption of essential nutrients in the intestines. As alcohol is eliminated from the system, the gut's ability to absorb nutrients such as vitamins and minerals can gradually improve, reducing the risk of nutrient deficiencies. Lower risk of digestive disorders. The risk of developing or exacerbating digestive disorders such as peptic ulcers, gastritis, and GERD, may decrease after quitting smoking and alcohol. The gut's ability to heal and repair itself can improve without the constant irritants from smoking and alcohol. Lower risk of GI cancers. Smoking and alcohol abuse are known risk factors for various gastrointestinal cancers, including esophageal stomach colorectal cancer. Quitting both habits can significantly reduce the risk of developing these cancers over time. You'll have better immune function. Quitting smoking and alcohol can strengthen the immune system. A healthier immune system can help the body better defend against infections and regulate inflammation in the gut. Reduced gastrointestinal symptoms. Many individuals experience gastrointestinal symptoms like heartburn, indigestion, and diarrhea as a result of smoking and alcohol abuse. These symptoms are likely to improve or resolve after quitting these habits. It's important to note that while quitting smoking and alcohol can lead to these positive changes in gut health, some individuals may experience withdrawal symptoms and temporary digestive discomfort during the initial phases of quitting. These symptoms are typically short-lived and can be managed with support and healthy lifestyle choices. To maximize the benefit of quitting smoking and alcohol, individuals are encouraged to adopt a balanced diet Engage in regular physical activity and seek medical guidance and support when necessary. Gastrointestinal improvements may take time, but with dedication and commitment to a healthier lifestyle, individuals can experience significant enhancements in their gut health. The likelihood of a person who smokes and drinks alcohol developing inflammatory bowel disease can be influenced by various factors including genetics, the extent of smoking and alcohol consumption, and other lifestyle and environmental factors. It is important to note that IBD is a complex group of disorders, including Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and its exact cause is not fully understood. However, both smoking and alcohol use have been associated with an increased risk of developing or exacerbating IBD in some individuals. Smoking and IBD Smoking is a well-established risk factor for Crohn's disease, a type of IBD. People who smoke or have a history of smoking are more likely to develop Crohn's disease compared to non-smokers. Furthermore, smoking can worsen the symptoms and progression of Crohn's disease in those who already have the condition. In contrast, smoking seems to have a protective effect against ulcerative colitis, another form of IBD. However, this protective effect is outweighed by the enormous health risks. Alcohol and IBD. While alcohol consumption is not as strongly associated with IBD as smoking, some studies suggest that heavy alcohol consumption may increase the risk of developing IBD or exacerbate existing symptoms. However, the evidence is not clear cut as it is for smoking. It's crucial to understand that IBD is a multifactorial condition and the development of IBD is likely influenced by a combination of genetic and environmental lifestyle factors. Not everyone who smokes or drinks will develop IBD and many people with IBD have never smoked or consumed alcohol excessively. However, they both have been shown to cause or exacerbate inflammation. So quitting is for the best and it will clearly have a positive effect on your IBD. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about IBD or other gut health issues, please tune into my channel, Oh What The Gut. Thank you.